stack with me guys this is my 2023 honda odyssey sport and in today's video we're going to be going over some tips and tricks with the key fob and also with the honda odyssey so let's get started before we get this video started guys make sure you hit that like and hit that sub to the channel a lot of you guys are new to my page this is the 23 honda odyssey sport trim we have the window sticker right here in front of us as you can tell the color it's called sonic gray it was 395 dollars extra you get about 22 mpg total 19 in the city 20 in the highway which in my opinion is great here's the overall rating of the vehicle and then here are some of the features that come with the vehicle standard and the final out the door price 42,900. So all of these tips and tricks that we're going to be going over in today's video can be applied to any type of Honda vehicle. I know this is a 23 Odyssey, but if you guys have any other Honda, you guys can use this feature as well. Just go ahead and give it a shot. Go outside, try it on your vehicle. Just get your key fob and let's give it a shot. Okay, so the very first tip and trick I want to show you guys with the key fob is how to roll all the windows down just by pushing the lock button and hold the unlock two times and all the windows will roll down for you and the moon roof will open as well. This is very beneficial, especially if you live in the desert. Now to shut it guys, you can't just push the lock button and hold it down two times. It won't roll the windows up. I know in some vehicles it does, but not in this one. So I'll show you guys how to roll them up next. So we take a look at the key fob. And this part right here will pop out so you just need to pull that part out so once you get the key part out the manual key once you get the manual key you just want to put it in hold it to the left and the windows will start going up and the moon roof so before we show you guys everything on the inside of the vehicle let me show you how to use the key fob if you hold this button down it will go ahead and open the trunk for you. It's that simple, of course. If you hold it down again, guys, it will go ahead and shut the trunk for you. So that's pretty useful. And then if you go to the van doors, same thing. You just hold this button down right here. It will open the van door for you. And then hold it down one more time. That simple, guys. Love this vehicle. Love this key fob. Hope you guys make an easy choice when picking your next vehicle. Okay, let's go over the next tip and trick. This one is my favorite. You need to push the lock button and then hold the rotate button one time and the vehicle will turn on. And this is perfect for hot summer day, have the AC running, and it's perfect for the winter for when it's cold, have the heater running. So that's the next trick to how to turn on the engine with just the key fob. So the engine is running the AC and to turn it on fully, just need to push our foot on the brake and push it one time and now the engine is fully on. Okay guys, the next tip and trick that I love about the Honda vehicles is the auto lock walkaway feature which in my opinion is very useful guys. A lot of times I go to the grocery store and I forget to lock the vehicle and sometimes I have to go back out and just to see if it's locked or not. But Honda has a solution to that. So you'll go to settings right here. Once you're in settings, you go to vehicle right there. Once you're in vehicle, you go to keyless access setup, click on that. Once you're on keyless access setup, you go to walk away auto lock and you click on that mine is enabled right now if you guys decide you don't like it you can always disable it but in my opinion guys it's a very very useful feature i have it in a lot of my vehicles and i'm going to keep on keeping it on because it's so useful in my opinion okay let's go over the next tip and trick with the honda vehicle let's say you run out of gas guys you are completely on e and you're in the middle of the nowhere you're nowhere close to a gas station you can't fill up with the regular pump. You have to get one of those cans and manually fill it. Let me show you guys what you need to do. So we go over to the gas tank. There's no button. You just need to simply push on it on the side. It will open up and 
unlike most vehicles, it has a little flap right here. So if you have a little tank, it won't go in there directly, guys. This will only open with a nozzle. So what do you do? Let me show you guys. We take a walk to the back of the vehicle. And then if you look in the trunk of the vehicle, you have a spot to the left. If you want to open it up, I'll show you guys. And you also have a spot to the right. And then if you take a look, there's a little symbol for your gas can and a little funnel to go into the gas tank. So you pop this open guys and boom, there's your funnel in the Honda vehicle. All you have to do is take this out, put it into the gas cap and you can start pouring in your gas. As simple as that guys. And to put it back, you just need to simply put it in the spot right there and it just clicks into place perfectly like that. And that's the next tip and trick of the Honda Let's go to the very last one, guys. And the last tip and trick I want to show you guys of this Honda vehicle, if you go to the parking brake, apply the parking brake. So right now, the parking brake is on. And if you want to go ahead and start driving and you put the car into drive, the vehicle will not move. Even if I push the gas, the vehicle will not move. So to fix that problem, which is not a problem, but to fix it, I will show you guys what you need to do. Okay guys, my seatbelt is on, the car is in park, but let me show you. I'm gonna put it in drive. The e-brake is still on, but my seatbelt is on now guys, and I can just apply the gas, just like that, and the e-brake will turn off and the vehicle will move. And that is it guys, that is the tips and tricks of the Honda Odyssey. This is my 2023. I'm in love with this vehicle, guys. If you guys found this video useful, hit that like button, hit that sub. A lot of you guys are new to the channel. It helps with the YouTube AI. And keep on watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.